Hello. Uh, this is Cairo Hafiz again. Uh, I've been asked by a lot of people, how did you lose a leg? Or tell, tell us about the accident. So I've made this uh, short movie in order to explain exactly how the accident happened. The historical date was 26 August 2005. Um, I was riding my, my motorcycle on my way to work um, where I was hit from the back by a 40 ton 10 tire truck. So the, the truck hit me from the back, I fell off the bike and uh, I could have sworn I saw the wheel of the truck um, heading towards my body. So what I did was um, I sort of shut my eyes and prayed to God. And when I opened my eyes, everything was dark. I thought I was in the grave. However, uh, then I noticed that, oh, snatch, I was underneath the truck when I saw the axle of the, the truck. So um, at that time the truck was still moving and I was moving underneath the truck. So I came out of the truck uh, at the back. Uh, at that time I was still conscious. I was still conscious so uh, the pain was nothing. Nothing that I've ever experienced before. It was so painful it was an a combination of uh, a lot of pain. Uh, there were there was pain. Um, I felt hot. Uh, it's a combination of a lot of feelings. It wasn't a good feeling though. Okay, so I thought I was going to die for sure. And then, by the grace of God, uh, there was an ambulance somewhere behind uh, the truck. I mean, like. Not exactly behind the truck, but somewhere behind it. And I was lucky enough, there was a doctor inside of the ambulance. So he knew exactly what to do. He sort of had, uh, instructed the, the people and uh, the driver to put me inside of the ambulance. And uh, we went to the hospital. Uh, I think the journey took about 20 minutes but I think it was the longest 20 minutes of my life uh, in a vehicle. So then when we reached the hospital, um, I was still conscious. Uh, it, was so, it was still painful. And one thing that I was thankful, and I knew everything happened for a reason, and I knew deep down inside there's a reason why God um, didn't left me unconscious. I will get to that later. Uh, when I was in the hospital, uh, doctors, uh, I was rushed to the emergency room and uh, the doctors were uh, arguing but uh, whether to amputate the leg or not. Uh, again, like I said, everything happened for a reason and I believe that, uh, and I'm so thankful that God uh, left me conscious so uh, I, could inter I could interfere with the decision of the doctor trying to amputate my leg. So uh, I told the doctor, don't amputate the leg yet. Um, uh, we try, let's try and save it. Uh, the accident happened at about 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and I went to the operation theater at around, I think, 1 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. So you can imagine how many hours I had to endure the pain. But uh, like I said, if I were unconscious, uh, I, would, I would have woke up in a hospital bed uh, without a leg, and you know that could that might be bring a more negative impact to me. So to to cut the story short, um, uh, we had uh, three operation uh, trying to actually repair the leg, and then after the third operation, uh, the doctor told me this is when I mean, you arrive at a crossroad. 
this is where you have to decide or whether you want to continue saving the leg or ampu- uh, we, got, we can do the amputation. If we were to continue to save the leg, uh, I would need about, I think, 12 to 13 more surgeries, whereby in the end, uh, we're not even sure whether we can save the leg. So I told the doctor, um, uh, you can come back later in the morning. Uh, I want to pray to God first at night, and then I'll, I'll tell you my decisions in the morning. So when he came in the morning, um, I told him, Doc, uh, you know, we tried. Uh, God has gave me three chances to save the lake, uh, and it turned out that it couldn't be saved. So I, I accept what was written for me. So we amputated the leg. Uh, that was the fourth operation. And I have a fifth uh, operation. I had a fifth operation, which was uh, a wound. Uh, it was a sort of a tidying up. So in total, I had five operations. I stayed in the hospital for three weeks, which is not long. But the whole recovery period was about um, half a year. I think about uh, I, I was on, uh, on the bed for about four months because not only I had the the amputation. Uh, I also lost half of my right toe, so that was a big thing. Whereby they had to do a massive skin graft uh, in order to repair the the toe. So you can imagine um, sitting at home about four to six months, doing nothing, you know, just eating and sleeping, and getting fat. Which in the end I didn't even get fat. So <laughs> I was joking, by the way. So to put into uh, uh, to sum up the whole thing, so I was out for about six months, uh, and then another uh, two three months learning how to walk with the prosthetic leg uh, with the new leg. Uh, that was a bit of a struggle, but throughout the the whole experience, um, when I was down, amongst the other things that I uh, kept me going, like I said in my television interview was biking. I mean, first and foremost it was God, but uh, it was also biking that, that kept me going. Up to, a, to, to an extent that I put my helmet uh, and my glove next to my bed. And also I had uh, uh, my cousin bring me a, a lot of uh, motorcycle magazines. So, uh, so, so in total about a year, and then I started uh, showing interest of, uh, on going t- to track because uh, before I lost the lake I never had a chance to go to, to the track so uh, I, I hooked up with my my mentor um, and he was the one who, who who sort of taught me what to do uh, I mean some of the techniques that, that, that I, I need to learn uh, while riding in the track. Uh, I went to to my first track day with crutches, you know, uh, with some elbow crutch, uh, because I can't, I still can't walk properly, but it was the f- uh, one of the best experience of my life. Being able to actually see and hear the bikes again, uh, that feeling was um, unexplainable. Uh, but that that's going to be in, in, in a different short movie where, where I'll tell you the story about how I came back, uh, how I made my comeback. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you, you check out uh, my other videos on YouTube. Uh, I'll see you guys around.